Hi, Adidas here. So in this video, we're going to show you how to record both audio and MIDI simultaneously from your RD2000 directly into your computer uh, from your USB cable. Now, why would I want to record audio and MIDI simultaneously? Well, here's a good reason why. Let's say I record audio only from the RD2000, and I, I like it when I recorded it, but I go back and listen, and, and maybe I notice a little mistake, or maybe I notice I don't like that sound like I did the day before, and I want to change it. Well, if it's audio, that sound is permanent in there. I can add a little bit of effects, but I cannot change the sound. Okay, So by recording audio plus the MIDI information, if I don't like the original sound or I need to make some adjustments to my uh, playing style, I can go in here, mute the audio track, and adjust the MIDI. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's say here in the previous example, I recorded an audio track right here. And it sounds okay, but maybe I don't like that piano uh, once I have fresh ears. So I'm going to go into this example, and I'm going to delete that audio. That's fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a MIDI track. So I'm going to say external MIDI. Great. External plugin. Great. And there's the RD2000. And uh, we'll just leave it on channel 1 right now. And let's create. So this is the keys. This is the audio right here. And this is the MIDI right here. Now let's go into the external. Whoops. Let's look. It's on MIDI channel 1 right now. So that's fine. So let's back it up. And now let's record both audio and MIDI. Tell you what, I'm going to take off that count in. Back it up again. Record right into here. So... Great. So I just recorded that. And right now you're not going to hear any difference in when I hit the playback because it's going to be triggering MIDI and the audio simultaneously. Now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mute that audio and it's just going to play back the MIDI from the RD. Now, what if, like I was saying earlier, I don't like that piano sound anymore? Well, I'm going to go ahead and change that sound from a piano to, say, electric piano. And let's try it again. Cool. So I might like that electric piano today rather than the piano I just recorded. So since I recorded the MIDI, I could go ahead and re-record that. So I'm going to keep that piano there. And I'm going to do another audio. And it's also coming from the RD. And create. And I'm going to na name this one Piano. Okay. And now I'm going to name this one EP for electric piano. Great. Now I'm going to play it back. Take off record on the MIDI. And press record. And that quickly, I just recorded the piano part. Now watch this. I'm going to mute the MIDI so it's not playing. And here's the electric piano. Great. Let's back it up. And now look, here is the piano part. Okay, let's play them both together, piano and electric piano. So now let's try and record again. This time, let's go ahead and do maybe a string part. Okay, so let's mute those and let's hear the MIDI play back a string part. Great, now let's record again audio. We like what we did and we'll call this one string. Okay, so we're ready to record that string, so I'm going to press the record button. 
back it up. It is set to record. I'll press record. It's a little soft because it's a string, but uh, let's see if we got it. So I'll mute that and let's go back into here and listen. There's the string. Tell you what, let's add that electric piano. Now let's go back and let's add that piano. So as you can see, there is definitely a benefit of recording audio and MIDI simultaneously from the RD2000 over USB into your laptop. It'll give you a lot of flexibility for adjusting sounds, maybe layering sounds, even adjusting your MIDI performance. Okay, you guys give this a shot. I hope it helps you out. You guys take care and I'll talk to you later.